also body relaxing you don't have anything in your mind come to this moment relax yourself mentally also physically cut off the whole world this is my meditation time this is not the time to pay attention past experiences or future plans this is my meditating time give this message thoroughly into your mind you feel your whole body is relaxing it's very comfortable you don't have any pain physical or mental comfortably you can breathe in comfortably you can breathe out very very relax you have empty mind you don't have anything in your mind is empty it's very very relax imagine your own picture we can scan your whole body through your mind let's image your, let's scan your whole body you feel your head feel your forehead feel your nose feel your lips feel your neck feel your shoulders feel your chest feel your belly feel your hips feel your leg feel your feet feel your toes scan in whole body you can relax very well you are relaxing comfortably you can breathe in comfortably you can breathe out you are free from all pains and suffering it's very comfortable in this empty mind let's generate loving friendliness thought looking at your picture on your mind generate loving friendliness thoughts to to yourself may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful may i be well <coughs> happy and peaceful may i be well happy and peaceful as i am all my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful as i am all my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful as i am all my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful all living beings in this country 
May they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings mean weak or strong, living near or far born or coming to birth, seen or unseen, weak or strong, long, large, medium, shadow, gross, visible, all living beings. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the universe, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in the galaxy, in this galaxy, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on earth, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings on this continent, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. All living beings in this country, may they be well, happy and peaceful. 
all living beings in this country may they be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful my family members friends relatives and neighbors be well happy and peaceful may i 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 be well happy and peaceful being in this pull metta thoughts let's move into practice mindfulness of breathing meditation in mindfulness of breathing med meditation we pay fully attention to to our breath inhalation and exhalation just focus to to your breath inhalation and exhalation breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out you feel your breath you can see very well clearly your breath inhalation and exhalation when you are breathing you feel where air is touching might be end of your nostril upper lips you feel your lungs are filling with air you feel your belly filling with air breathe in breathe out watch your natural breath you're not supposed to breathe in and out intentionally watch your natural breath be aware whether it is short breath or long breath sometimes we take short breath we take long breath we exhale short breath we exhale long breath be aware whether it is short breath or long breath you are familiar with your breath be aware of starting point of your breath changing of your breath and departing of your breath your breath also component of four elements you feel when you breathe in when you breathe out it's touch somewhere in your body parts because it has earth elements you feel hot and cold because your breath has part of fire element your breath is inhalation and exhalation 
because it has air elements. You feel moisture because it has water elements. Nature of all these elements are impermanence, suffering, selfless. Impermanence, your breath is not exist. It is just a process. You don't like that impermanence. It's make suffering, unhappy, painful thoughts, which is impermanence, full with suffering. There is nothing to have nothing to develop ownership, saying me, my, myself. This is the nature of our breath. It's changing all the time. Breathe in, breathe out. Focusing your nature toward to your natural breath. You can see these three characters through your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Shall we practice in this manner? When you notice your mind is out of the object, come back and start again. Breathe in, breathe out.
ಇಮಾಯ ಧಮ್ಮಾನುಧಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತಿಯ ಬುದ್ಧಂಗ್ ಪೂಜೇಮಿ ಧಮ್ಮಂಗ್ ಪೂಜೇಮಿ ಸಂಘಂಗ್ ಪೂಜೇಮಿ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಫ್ ಧಮ್ಮ ಇನ್ ಎಕೋಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಧಮ್ಮ ಐ ವೆನ್ ರೀಡ್ ದ ಬುದ್ಧ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಫ್ ಧಮ್ಮ ಇನ್ ಎಕೋಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಧಮ್ಮ ಐ ವೆನ್ ರೀಡ್ ದ ಧಮ್ಮ by practicing of dhamma in accord with the dhamma i will read the sangha sadhu 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 thank you very much okay uh today i would like to continue the discussions what we started uh, yesterday uh yesterday we started to discuss about the qualities of the buddha uh today i like to discuss qualities of the dhamma or teachings of the buddha before we start to discuss those qualities better to focus the name the words dhamma dhamma the words is pali word when we translate into english we can use real uh, connect into the real meaning the word nature dhamma is nature once buddha addressing his disciples explain sabbe dhamma anatta all teachings of the buddha or nature doesn't have any ownership to say me me my myself is selfless even though dhamma belongs to that category that nature selflessness but we need dhamma buddha use a simile to give us a relationship we and the dhamma it's like a, there is a river that you should cross the river you wanted to cross the river to cross the river you should have boat or raft ship or whatever support until you finish your journey you have to attach to that you have attached attached to the boat or the ship or raft but when you done your journey when you finish your journey when you cross the river after finishing your journey when you cross then there is no reason to carry your raft or your boat or your ship with you dhamma also we use benefits for ourselves for our own liberation we use dhamma for our own liberation until we liberating from all the suffering we should attach to the dhamma we should connect with dhamma ben bonding with dhamma dhamma is the path 
that we should apply. Very important thing is, Buddha is not the person who found the Dharma. Buddha said himself, this Dhamma, whether I am alive or not, this Dhamma will exist. Only thing what I found, I found the method to realize the Dhamma, realize the nature. In his first sermon, Dhamma Chakka Pavattana Sutta, he explained, Buddha, the Buddha explained, there are two ends that we're not supposed to go in, which is self mortificate other one is self-indulgent. We're not supposed to get into any of these extreme life and you should maintain middle path you should get into the middle path. You should apply middle path for what? For your own liberation. Noble eight pole path is the path that we should apply for our own liberation. That noble eight pole path and all other teachings were delivered by the Buddha, that delivered by the Buddha has some qualities those qualities among those qualities well expounded is the dhamma by the sublime one the one is well expounded second one directly visible unaffected by time calling want to come and see leading on words to be realized by the wise these are the qualities what dhamma has in here dhamma mean the path what that introduced by the buddha the buddha's teaching maintain these qualities itself because Buddha's teaching based on universal truth. Buddha's teaching is not just only for a particular group of people. Buddha's teaching is for all living being. All living being. I would like to quote another Stensa from Mahamangala Sutta, Blessing Discourse. In, in the Blessing Discourse, start, uh, persistence is Asevanacha Balanam Panditanancha Sevana Pujacha Pujaniyanam Etang Mangala Muttama. Don't associate foolish, associate wise. Why? Buddha said, don't associate foolish. This is universal truth. If you're going to associate any foolish, foolish mean who don't have any knowledge of realization. If you're going to associate those kind of people, those kind of members in this community, then you might get their influence. That is universal. Whether you are living in this country or other country, it doesn't matter. This is universal. If you associate, associate if you are going to associate foolish people, though they are unwholesome quality, with influence to you. This is universal. These these are the teachings of the Buddha. This Dhamma. This these teachings belongs to the universal truth. It is eternal truth. It's, 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 it's not changing. This universal truth we call Dhamma. 
for this universal truth we call Dhamma. Dhamma is the path, Dhamma is the flashlight for our life. For what? For our own liberation. For our own liberation. Simply, I know these days, Bhante Ji is discussing about uh, dependent origination. Simply, you can understand if you have some knowledge of dependent origination in this particular thing. If you are living with anger, is there any, any way you can be happy? If you are living with desire or greediness, can you be happy? If you are living with ignorance, full with ignorance, can you be happy? There is no way to be happy if you are living with any of these roots. We all are, as a mundane people, living with these roots, but using our courage and determination and our practices, we can control in some degrees in this moment around the world, how many of them are putting the effort to control their desire, to control their anger, to control their ignorance, is handful of them around the world. But we as a human being have wonderful opportunity which we call thinking ability. Using that human quality, we should use this opportunity to control our desire, to control our anger, to control our are the defilements which is related to desire, anger, and ignorance. If we not, if we are not controlling, if we are not reducing these defilements from our mind, then unhumanistic situation will be there. Will be there that unhumanistic situation. Today we all are suffering. Particularly we are suffering because of COVID-19. There are so many arguments among in the society. Finding the roots and how it's spreading, how we can control it. So many arguments and debates are there. But as a Dhamma practitioner, we can see, we, we have to approach to this in different ways. We can see it very clearly. Those viruses are not coming from another realms. These viruses not created by any other living beings than human beings. We created all these viruses. How we create those viruses? We polluted our mind with desire, anger, and hatred. Polluting our mind ourselves, then we started to live in this world maintaining our unhumanistic quality, unhumanistic way. At the end of this polluted mind actions create so many trouble in this human world, human life. No one can say, I'm not part of this creation. We all created. We, we all uh, we, we, we all participated. 
no one can say we didn't participate it yes in some degrees now what happened because of this situation we started to practice we started to control our behavior we started to control our habits patterns because if we not control our pattern habits uh, then we may in trouble that's why we with with the influence of this covid 19 we have to control our behavior controlling behavior taming our word and actions some things that's, that belongs to human beings we born to this world as a human being then these are uh, these actions belongs to us as a human being we have ear nose tongue and all these faculties but we are not supposed to misuse any of these faculties because we are human being as a human being we should use our mind around the world people try to use the brain that's not enough we have to use our mind mind and brain two different things but i know in western psychology and other subjects they don't think in that way but according to the buddhism brain and mind two different things brain is part of your physical formation mind is non physical we as a human being who have ability think deeply and widely we have this opportunity to develop our mind developing our mind realizing the nature nature means dhamma applying the method of dhamma into our day-to-day -day life we can create wonderful place and wonderful world to live happily and peacefully that's why we have to connect with the dhamma dhamma is not something that belongs to religion dhamma the word not supposed to take as a religious religious viewpoint dhamma is nature if you respect to the nature nature will protect us if you are going against the nature again nature will punish us now what we pay we the nature punishing us now nature is punishing for us they use a simile for that during rainy time if you're going out with umbrella you can protect using the umbrella in same way if you are living according to the dhamma dhamma means respecting the nature that nature will protect you that nature will protect you as a person who can think as a person who can use your mind let's use our mind to respect the nature and the nature will protect us nature will help us to have a happy peaceful life which is the goal of our life we all are working for to be happy we all are doing every and each things maintaining that goal to be happy if we want to be happy we should respect the nature we should respect the dhamma we apply we should apply the method what we recognize as a dhamma to our day-to-day -day life to respect the nature respect in nature we have opportunity to develop our concentration mindfulness 
developing our mindfulness, we can use that opportunity to develop our wisdom. As human beings, we, we sacrifice our whole life to gain knowledge. We went to preschool, kindergartens, middle school, high school, colleges, universities to gain knowledge. But gaining knowledge is different than gaining wisdom. Gaining wisdom is you are developing your mind to think deeply and widely. Thinking ability, developing thinking ability is the way to gain knowledge, gain wisdom. So, using this wonderful human life, greatest opportunity to develop our mind we have in this world. So, we everybody can develop our mind we don't need to go to school for that we don't know, we don't need to read books for that only we have to develop our concentration which is the most important part to develop our wisdom developing concentration then we can develop our wisdom when we develop our wisdom then we can be happy and also we can create a happy, peaceful environment in this world, in this society. We born to this world as a human being. We are not here forever. Only very short time period we have to live. In this short period of time, what we should, we should respect Dhamma. We should apply this method into our day-to-day -day life. For what benefits for ourselves to develop our insight and to achieve the goal that we maintain as a human being. Uh, now you can see the qualities of Dhamma and then you can see how we can apply Dhamma into our day-to-day -day life and what would be the benefits when we apply the Dhamma in this method into our day-to-day Okay, is there any questions? Thank you. Okay, if you have any questions, I think uh, yesterday we gave you the email address. All right. Uh, yeah, since we're sort of short on time here, I'm just gonna type the email address that you can send any questions to and then we'll try to answer them or Bhante will try to answer them tomorrow night. Uh, those of you that uh, don't have access to this chat box, the address is askbhante at bhavanasociety.org. I think then this we can end up today sessions. Uh, thank you very much. You all participated in with us. And uh, in this session, we got wonderful opportunity to develop our insight, to theme our word and actions, to develop our mind. Participate in all these activities, we got opportunity to develop our happiness. Other way we can say we accumulated merits. Now it is time to share these merits with the departed one from us and also who are suffering with this corona, uh, COVID-19 and who are suffering with other sicknesses, who are suffering, losing their friends, family members and relatives, neighbors. And we can share these happy thoughts, merits with the every and each corner, our friends, family members, relatives, neighbors, citizens of the countries. Having that aspiration, we can share the merits with the all living beings in this universe, 
all living beings be well, happy, and peaceful. They may develop their courage and determination, their energies to get rid of this suffering. They may rejoice in these merits. May they develop their energies, positive energies, uh, to control their negative energies. And also, especially departed one who departed from us, may they rejoice in these merits. May they be well, happy, and peaceful. May they attain final uh, goal, what they maintain in their life. Uh, may they free from all the sufferings. All over the world, all living beings, may they be well, happy, and peaceful. May all have happy and peaceful life. May all able to get rid of their suffering. May all able to achieve their goal. Having that aspiration, we can share merits with the all living beings saying sadhu, 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 sadhu. By means of these meritorious deeds, may, may I ever I join with the foolish. foolish. May, may I join, I join always, always with, with the wise until, until the time I attain in May, may the, the suffering be free from suffering. suffering. May, may the fear struck be free from fear. fear. May, may the grieving be free from, from grieving. So, so too may all, all beings be. From, from the, the highest realms, realms of existence, existence to the lowest, may all beings arising in these realms, with form, without, without form, with perception and without perception, perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. excellent. Thank you very much. You have a good night and also you have a wonderful day, peaceful day, happy day. Good night, everyone. Thank you for being with us.